Get those wands up in the air because I've got 11 questions for you on tougher Harry Potter trivia. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. If you hear some noise in the background, it is the fans in my garage, which are a blazing because outside that sun is a blazing and it's about 104 degrees for the next week or so in California. I cannot believe how hot it's going to be. Uh, I hope wherever you're at, you're safe and sound listening to the show, whether you're hot or cool or somewhere in between. I am looking at a book in my hands right now I wanted to share with you. It's called Author of What Happened to Pudding Pops, uh, Gail Fashingbauer Cooper and Brian Belmont. It's The Totally Sweet 90s. That's the name of the book, The Totally Sweet 90s. From Clear Cola to Furby and Grunge to whatever, the toys, tastes, and trends that defined a decade. I got this book at five below for five bucks, but it has a lot of little tidbits in it, which is great for 90s trivia, and there's some pictures, and it's just an all-around fun Kind of like reading a a blog that's really long. That's how I describe these kinds of books. Great little bathroom book if you happen to read in the bathroom. I don't read in the bathroom, but maybe you do. Uh, Today's episode is all about something to do with reading called Harry Potter. These are all uh, pretty tough questions from the books and movies, and there are 11 of them. And uh, hopefully you know the answers to these tough Harry Potter trivia questions. We're going to jump into those right now. Here we go. All right, here we go, everybody. Tougher Harry Potter questions from a live trivia night I did a couple weeks back. Here's number one. What country does Charlie Weasley live in? Number one, what country does Charlie Weasley live in? Number one. Question number two, which team won the Quidditch World Cup in the Goblet of Fire? Number two, which team won the Quidditch World Cup in the Goblet of Fire? Number two. Question number three, what five digits would you dial to call the Ministry of Magic from a London phone booth? Number three, what five digits would you dial to call the Ministry of Magic from a London telephone booth? Number three. And question number four, what is Hermione's Patronus? Number four, what is Hermione's Patronus? Number four. Question number five, who gave Harry his firebolt broomstick? Number five, who gave Harry his firebolt broomstick? Number five. And question number six, what magical creatures pull the Hogwarts carriages? Number six, what magical creatures pull the Hogwarts carriages? Number six. Question number seven on your HP quiz for today. What does the R stand for in the acronym R-A-B? What does the R stand for in the acronym R-A-B? Number seven. Question number eight. Harry wins a vial of what potion from Professor Slughorn? Number eight. Harry wins a vial of what potion from Professor Slughorn? Number eight. Question number nine, what form does Neville's Boggart take? Number nine, what form does Neville's Boggart take? Number nine. And number 10, what nickname does Grop give Hermione? Number 10, what nickname does Grop give Hermione? Your bonus question for two points, what plant traps the trio on their way to get the Sorcerer's Stone. For two points, what plant traps the trio on their way to get the Sorcerer's Stone? Those are all your questions for tougher Harry Potter trivia. I hope they weren't too tough for you, and I hope you had fun figuring out the answers. We'll be right back with those answers in just a bit. We are back with the answers to Harry Potter trivia, the tougher variety. Let's see how you did, and let me know if you thought these were too easy or too tough in a nice email. You can email me anytime at ryanbuds at gmail.com. Here's number one. What country does Charlie Weasley live in? The answer was Romania. Number one, Romania. Number two, which team won the Quidditch World Cup in the Goblet of Fire? That was Ireland. Number two, Ireland. 
Number three, what five digits would you dial to call the Ministry of Magic from a London telephone booth? That would be 62442, which spells out magic. Number three, 62442. Number four, what is Hermione's Patronus? It's an otter. An otter. Number five, who gave Harry his firebolt broomstick? That would be Sirius Black. His godfather, Sirius Black. Number six, what magical creatures pull the Hogwarts carriages? They're called Thestrals. Thestrals. Kind of like ghost horses. Number six. Number seven, what does the R stand for in R-A-B? That is Regulus. Regulus. It sounds like some kind of medicine to keep you regular. <laughs> Have you had your Regulus today? Number eight, Harry wins a vial of what potion from Professor Slughorn? That's Felix Felicis potion. Felix Felicis potion, number eight. Number nine, what form does Neville's Boggart take? That would be Professor Snape. Snape. And number 10, what does Grop call Hermione? He calls her Hermy. H-E-R-M-Y, Hermy. And the bonus for two points, what plant traps the trio on their way to get the Sorcerer's Stone? That would be Devil's Snare devil's snare in the sorcerer's stone towards the end there all right guys that was our quiz on harry potter tougher stuff thank you so much for listening along if you love harry potter trivia just search harry potter trivia with buds on google you'll come across uh at least a dozen dozen other episodes of the show of the harry potter variety so go give those a listen it's time for your fact of the day the fact of the day is an octopus with 96 tentacles was caught in japan in 2008 96 tentacles i looked this up you can google it it looks like it has the root of a plant under it it's very bizarre and very freaky 96 tentacles on one octopus there you have it thank you guys for listening thank you so much for uh telling a friend about the show and thanks for leaving itunes reviews i sincerely appreciate it we'll see you next time for more trivia with me cheers 